Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting on my channel. I really appreciate the support. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about energy and how I maintain such high energy when I'm doing all my creative work. A lot of you guys have asked me about this and I'm actually surprised that this is one of the topics that you guys want me to speak on because I did not realize that that's one of the epidemics in this world that and low energy or feeling not energetic enough, not being able to do your work because your energy levels are so low. I think it's sort of an epidemic because I've been getting a lot of messages about it. And so I actually wanted to speak to you guys about my own routine and my own obsession with energy, my energy. I am absolutely obsessed with it. And the reason why I'm obsessed with it is because I know I've known that I have been in, in the past, I had low energy levels. A lot of times I would have days where I would get up in the morning when I was in my 20s and I would barely be able to lift my finger, you know, I'd barely be able to lift my hand. I would just eat some food and I'd crawl back into bed and I'd just lay in bed all day long because I was so low energy. Now at that point I was not taking care of my body, I was not eating well, I was drinking a lot of alcohol and I was not sleeping well obviously because of that. And also, I wasn't doing something that I really cared about. I wasn't living an authentic life. Um, I just, I was not doing anything right, which is related to energy, right? So obviously I had very low energy. I also worked in a night shift job where like it was shift work and in the fact that, you know, one week I'd be working morning. So I'd work from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. And the next week I'd be working midnights, which meant that I was working overnight. And so that obviously really screwed up with my body system and with my sleep cycle which meant that I wasn't sleeping well, which meant my, my energy levels were low, which meant that I was eating a lot of sugar and caffeine to keep up with it. It was a vicious cycle. I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. But I wanted to speak about my routine and how, as I said, I'm obsessed with energy and making sure that my energy levels are high. I realized because of the fact that I went through that phase in my 20s, that I realized how important energy is to doing good work. All of the big you know, gurus in the world, all of the, the big workers, the creatives, the, the people who are, who are the movers and shakers of the world, all of them are obsessed with making sure that their energy levels are high. And in consequence, their health levels are high, they sleep well, they make sure that they have good routines, they make sure that they eat well, etc. Right? They're obsessed with it because they know that in order to do all the work that they need to do, they need to have high energy levels. They can't have days where they wake up and think, you know what, I'm just going to skip work all today, all week, because I'm just feeling too tired. They just can't afford that time, right? Because they're working at, a high, at such a high level where they need to be, you know, at that high level, at that high peak energy level, at that peak performance level, all day long, every day, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, you know, as much as possible. And so, of course, they get sick. Of course, they have moments where they feel you know, terrible about their lives and things like that. But mostly, I would say more than, I guess, commoners or normal people, more than that, these peak performers are obsessed with optimizing their health, optimizing their energy levels. And so the more I read about these peak performers, the more I was like, I want to be a peak performer. I don't want to be one of those people who gets up in the morning and decides, I think I'm just going to lay in bed all day long and watch Netflix because it doesn't make me feel good i feel crappy after it's not like i'm like oh this is great i'm enjoying myself i hate myself the whole time i'm doing it because i'm like i want to do my work why am i doing this why am i wasting my time and not only that i have work that i want to do before i die i want to make sure that i put out a billion videos <laughs> as much as possible i want to write a hundred novels i want to do all this work you know i might be dead soon i want to make sure that this precious time that i have is spent optimally Right? I don't want to be wasting it. I've wasted enough time, guys. I've wasted a lot of time. And that's the reason that I'm so, so privy, or so cognizant of the fact that I don't want to waste any more time. Right? I'm so, so cognizant of it. So again, as I said, I build my routine around the fact that I want to make sure my energy levels are extremely high. Extremely, extremely high. I wake up in the morning and I go, 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 go until I go, at, go to sleep at night. And I'm doing all of these amazing things. And also because I'm doing things that I really care about, I have high energy because of that, obviously, as well. But a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm creating the circumstances and making the choices that give me higher energy levels. 
right? Because these are just choices, guys. These are all just choices that we are all making during the day, of course, right? So you can make the choice to either, you know, go to sleep early so you can have the full eight hours of sleep or whatever you might need. So go to sleep at 10 so you can wake up at six rested, fully rested. Or you can be like, you know what, I'm just going to watch one more show or I'm just going to watch the news right before I go to sleep because that's a great idea. Or, you know, I'm just going to have a midnight snack. So you go to sleep at like 1, 2, 3 a.m. and you wake up groggy in the morning, of course, because you did not get enough sleep. And then you use caffeine to bump yourself up. You know, you have a cup of coffee. You're like, ah, I feel great now. I have the energy to do my work. But it's fake energy. It's not real energy that's coming from, the, from within you, from your soul, from your spirit. It's coming from chemical reactions that will die down eventually and then you're going to go into a slump in the middle of the day and then you're going to need another boost with caffeine or sugar you might have a donut or you might do all that stuff right and then you go, come back home and instead of going to the gym or doing something that energizes you you sit in front of the tv again and you eat shit like you eat pizza and burgers and and things that don't really sustain you or give you nutrition but gives you sugar that keeps you going and you repeat the cycle over and over again now, I'm not condemning anyone for this because I have done that many times in my life, many, many times. I did that all throughout my 20s. I spent all of my time watching crappy TV, eating crappy, uh, crappy food and not sleeping well and really not taking care of my body at all. I drank so much. I partied so much. I literally just wasted my life away. <laughs> And that's the reason I think, as I said, I'm so cognizant of the fact that I have limited time now to take care, to perhaps kind of negate all that wasted time, perhaps, hopefully. So, as I said, I have a very strict routine and all of it, all of the things that I do during the day are done with the thought that I want to increase my energy levels and to keep my energy levels at an optimal high level. I'm always thinking about this, right? I'm always, always thinking about it. So I obviously try very much as hard as possible to fall asleep at 10 p.m. So I have to be in bed around 9.15, 9.30 because it takes me a little bit of time to kind of like relax and, and let go of the day and be able to fall asleep. So I have to be in bed by 9.30. Now that means I have to say no to a billion events. I have to say no to my friends all the time. I have to say we can do a lunch but we, or we can do a dinner but it has to be an early dinner like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. <laughs> So obviously I'm not very popular, but that's all right, that's fine. I don't go out anymore, I don't party anymore. I don't drink alcohol, obviously, because that just really screws with your sleep system. And you're not gonna sleep properly, even if you're having a glass of wine every single day. That really screws with your REM cycle. That means you're not gonna sleep as deep or as perfectly as you want. And you're gonna be groggy the next day, just the way it is. So skip that freaking alcohol if you can, if you can, right? Okay, so again, that's really important to me. So I make sure that I go to sleep early. Again, very lack of social life helps with that as well. No one really calls me and do things with them anymore because they know I'm going to say no, right? So that's a choice that I make. It's an extremely important choice because it's very easy for me as an INFJ to get obsessed with things and to work throughout the night and to not sleep properly. It's really easy actually, guys, because I have so many projects I'm working on and I'm like, oh, I could just do a little bit more work, just a little bit more work, just a little bit more work. And before I know it, the whole night has passed by and I haven't gotten a single wink of sleep. Single wink of sleep. I haven't gotten a little bit of sleep at all, right? So that's a choice that I make. I make a choice to fall asleep at the right time so I get the proper seven to eight hours of sleep. I, again, that's a choice. I get up in the morning and as much as possible, I try to eat a balanced diet during the day. So I try to eat as many veggies as possible. Um, no gluten. Gluten is really bad for you because it... For me at least, okay, not for everyone, but for me, gluten makes me sleepy. And gluten is all that stuff in wheat, pasta, pizza, uh, bread. So all of that stuff contains gluten and it makes me sleepy, it makes me groggy, it makes me lazy, it makes me want to just sit around all day long. I notice those days when I do have a piece of bread, I'm just like, yeah, I don't really need that much work. It's like a chemical reaction in your body, guys. You can't really do anything about it. And so I, I avoid wheat as much as possible so mostly i just eat rice and veggies uh rice and veggies <laughs> pretty boring diet rice and veggies rice and veggies and a lot of mushrooms mushrooms are really good for you uh, they are great energy stimulants so I, I actually eat a lot of as much mushrooms as possible as many mushrooms as possible in my diet also green smoothies i try to have at least one green smoothie a day at least one uh, sometimes i'll have them two or three times a week and I try to put all these amazing ingredients in it, like spirulina, really great for energy. 
Lucuma powder, you probably have never heard of it, but it's really great for energy, it's boosting your energy, giving you a lot of energy. And then maca powder, again, it's a superfood and it's, only, it's from South America, I believe. And again, it, it's a great energy booster. And so I put those three things in, I put berries in and I put bananas in and, that's, and then coconut milk or coconut water or both. And that's my green smoothie. And that again, gives me a lot of energy to work through the day, to just push through and, and work really hard. It gives me a lot of creativity. Now, of course, my morning routine is absolutely crucial as well. I get up in the morning and I do my meditation. I do my Wim Hof breathing, which is, again, really good for boosting energy. And then I uh, do a little bit of a, like a five minute yoga session, just a quick, uh, sh uh, quick vinyasa flow. So I'll just do like a quick one, like it's not, just to kind of boost the energy, just to get my blood flowing. And, and then I start working. And then because of all the different choices that I've made during the day, I am able to have the energy to do all the work that I want to do. Right? That's the reason I'm able to get up in the morning and after my morning routine, I'm able to do these videos with a lot of energy because I've been making the choices that are important for my energy routine. Right? Now, of course, it's not, I don't think it's possible for everyone else to care about energy as much as I care about it. Right? I'm obsessed with it because I know how important it is to my work and I'm only going to be able to do all the work that I do in the day. The only way I can produce all the stuff that I produce in the day is because of the energy levels I have. If I did not take care of my energy, I would not be able to do all this stuff, right? I would not be able to give these videos to you guys. I would not be able to do the blog posts I do. I wouldn't be able to write my thousand words every single day. I wouldn't be able to do anything. I would just sit around and be a lazy ass bum. And that's what I did for the longest time, right? So again, it's all about choices that you're going to make in your day. You know the choices that you're going to make, right? That you have to make. Skip caffeine, skip sugar. I, I try as much as possible not to have sugar in my diet. No caffeine, obviously, I can't deal with it. It just gives me way too much energy and I don't need it. No alcohol, uh, as much as possible, avoid gluten, have a good morning routine, try as much as possible to sleep eight hours a night. If you can add a nap into your day, awesome, that would be even perfect. It'll give you even more of an energy boost and things like that. It's all about choices. You know, eat well, sleep well, and your energy levels are gonna boost automatically on your own because your body's gonna heal itself and your body knows what to do. It'll take care of things and you'll have the energy that you need in order to do your work. But if you don't take care of your body and you do make shitty choices, then it's gonna result in shitty energy. And that's just the way it is, right? So I hope this makes sense to you guys. I know it seems like a very strict way to live your life, but for me, I love my life because I'm able to do all the things that I want to do and that's what I want to do with my life here. I don't want to spend it going out partying and doing all that stuff because that doesn't really fulfill me anymore. It did when I'm, I was in my 20s, maybe. But now I really don't care about it. So the choices that I make are not difficult. I don't feel like, oh my God, I'm really uh, depriving myself in any way. No, I don't feel that at all. I feel like I'm living the perfect, awesome, beautiful, ideal life that I want to live. And I'm able to do it because of the choices that I make. Again, all right? I hope this makes sense. I know this is a long video, but I hope that I was able to convey my ideas to you. I, was, I know that this is not for everyone, but I still wanted to share it with you guys because you've asked me for it. If you guys have any specific questions about the things that I do, uh, please message me anytime. Uh, Lukuma powder, maca powder, and spirulina, all of that stuff you can get on Amazon. Um, just Google it, obviously. It's very easy. Uh, try to get organic as much as possible, if possible for you guys. It's not that expensive. It lasts for a long time. You know, I use one packet for you know, six to seven to eight months sometimes. Uh, again, if, if you have any questions, please message me anytime. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.